In this video, I'm going to review two most important tools for any nail technician – LED lamp and electric nail file. And this company, Melody Susie, managed to make two in one. I will also show you how to fix a nail that was broken with a lot of pain, product removal, dry manicure, gel extensions with inlay design. Coming up! Hello, I'm Anastasia. In this video we are going to try LED and electric nail file by Melody Susie. I already tried their products earlier, I tried their electric nail file and I liked it, but I think this is a great idea to combine two in one, because most of the time you need both, right? We need LED lamp to cure gel, poly gel, gel polish, all light cured products, and we need e-file for many other things to do fills, to do prep, to take off product and so on. So this is kind of cool that we can have both in one. So I'm really curious how it's going to work. Let's start with unpacking. It comes in the box. The design is modern, like most Melody Susie devices. It's black on the top and it's pink chrome on the sides. So if we turn it around, we can see this LED lamps. Handpiece is rather light and chrome pink as well, and it has a special pocket for it. Three ceramic bits are included in the kit, that's really great, we will use them for product removal, as well as diamond bits and a pack of additional sand bands. Besides North American cord, there's also a European adapter. Taking off the seal from the bottom, it's magnetic, so it's super easy to attach it, as well as to take it off when you need to clean it. Connecting handpiece to the unit so we can see how it works, and most importantly to hear. As usual, I'm leaving the original sound so you can hear the noise for yourself. I can't say that it is super quiet, especially on the top speed, which is 30,000 rotations per minute, nor I can say that it is extremely noisy, so it is somewhere in between. Level of noise is average. Numbers on the screen are seconds for LED lamp, so if you're looking for the speed, you need to look only on the digits as you turn the wheel. There are four modes for LED lamp, 15, 30 and 60 seconds and 99 seconds low heat mode. And the automatic movement sensor. Let's get started. This is my client, she has polygel nails, some of them are broken, so I'm going to do a new set for her. We are going to start with product removal and I'm using a ceramic bit from the kit. Since her nails are rather thick, I decided to go with this one, corn shaped with blue abrasive mark. The speed is almost max at the moment, 28,000 rotations per minute. As I mentioned before, the handpiece is surprisingly light, so you almost cannot feel it in your hand. It's not vibrating or heating, which is really nice. I think product removal is one of the best test drives for any electric file, and with this one I can assure you that this is suitable for professional work and for any product, whether you use hard gel, poly gel or acrylic nails. It is working for removals and fills. When I started filing off the color from this nail, my client said that she hit this nail probably a couple weeks ago and it was very painful, it was bleeding, so she used gel or glue, honestly I forgot something to put it back, so I need to be extra careful and this is what I usually do. Once it's super painful and sensitive, I just take a tip glue, put it right inside where the crack is. Hold it until it is fully cured and now we can securely and most importantly painlessly and safely remove the rest of the product. Soaking off method will not work here since this is the poly gel, the one that you cannot soak off, so the only way to remove the product is to file it off. 
Luckily, her crack is almost on the free edge now, so it's just a matter of another couple of weeks until it will grow out and will not bother her anymore. These extensions were rather easy to take off, but there's one nail where we had lifting and I know that you guys really like this moment when we let go the lifted part, so are you ready? And we have to say goodbye lifting, now it just flies away. And next step is dry manicure. I'm using the flame bit, this is not the one from the kit, because the ones that was in the kit is with blue abrasive mark and it is rather harsh for these exact nails, because as you can see they are a bit damaged and overfiled and the client's skin is very thin and sensitive so i'm using the one with red abrasive mark the speed is 15,000 rotations per minute currently i'm working on forward mode with this electric file if you would like to switch to reverse mode you need to turn the speed at zero first make sure that it's not rotating at all and then you may switch to the opposite rotation Honestly, I always felt a bit skeptical about products and devices that are 2-in-1, you know, like a 2-in-1 shampoo and conditioner. Will it really work good enough, like the same quality as if you would use just a shampoo first and then a conditioner? But with this 2-in-1 device, I can definitely see some benefits. First of all, I think it will save some space on your desk, so if your workspace is limited and it really matters like the size of the device, then you will not need to keep the space for both. But most importantly, I think it is also great for beginners, for some people who are getting started and cannot afford buying multiple pieces of equipment, so this is how you purchase just one and have two in one. And the most important one, which immediately came to my mind, is when you're working mobile. When I started doing nails back in 2004, I used to be a mobile nail technician. I was carrying this stuff with me all the time, and you know, my bag was very heavy. It was around 5 to 6 kilograms, which is 13 pounds, so it was very heavy to carry it all, like I have a table lamp, I had a UV lamp back then, and electric nail file, so if I would have worked as a mobile technician right now, I will definitely get this, because this is how you will not need to carry multiple devices with you. I'm very curious about your thoughts on this topic, guys. Do you think it is reasonable to get devices like this two-in-one, or do you prefer to purchase as separate devices? Meanwhile, I'm almost done with the dry manicure. I finish by pushing up the cuticle and eponychium with flame bit, and then I'm trimming this with the scissors. Let's proceed to the prep. I apply dehydrator and non-acid primer and a thin layer of the base coat. Since we are going to use a hard gel today, it is always necessary to start with a thorough prep, especially the base coat. Do not touch the skin, apply a very thin coat and cure it in LED for 30 seconds. Let's start with the base. I will be using a milky colored hard gel for today and we decided to do a square shape. I just realized that it's been so long since I did this one because most of my clients as well as myself usually do almond shape, sometimes it's coffin, stiletto, but I've been really missing a square one, so let's do this one today. Cure in LED for 30 seconds. Normally for colored hard gels you need at least one minute, but since the layer was super thin, it is enough. 
I apply more milky gel, but mostly to the center. I did not really apply any product to the sidewalls, as you can see now they're naked. And there's the reason. I'm going to use a serum wrap on the top, because I want to get this crumpled look of the gel. And with the orange wood stick, I'm just making these folds to look better and smaller. And once you're happy with the shape, also cure it in LED, this time for one minute. I didn't have any troubles with the lamp at all, like the product was always fully cured. So I have to say that the power of the lamp is also enough for professional use. For any product, I intentionally used some colored gels because, you know, clear gel will cure in almost any lamp, but with the white ones it always requires a bit more power. So some parts of the gel were a little bit high, so I just cut them off with the scissors to save up some time for my future work. And then I used some clear gel to make the surface sticky again, and I'm applying this flakes, they're more like pink or multicolor, I don't even know how to name them. So I just apply them right on the top of this crumpled surface of the gel that we just did. Following the most important rule in the nail industry, the more glitter, the better. That's why I apply it to make sure it covers all of the sides, because we want it all to shine and sparkle, and then just freeze cure it for about 10 seconds, because that's enough to secure uh, these flakies. Then I carefully take off the form, and I'm going to seal it with transparent pink gel. Sealing a surface like this might be a little tricky, because it is not super smooth, so make sure that you cover the cuticle area as well as the sidewalls and you do not leave any empty spots. And yes, it will look like this nail is a bit too thick at first, but that's fine, because we are going to file off all the excess product, do not worry about it. Just make sure that you cover it all. I do not recommend using cover pink for this technique, because it will simply cover all these beautiful flakies that you just applied, and you will not be able to see them through. You can also use clear, but I just thought that it will be kind of fun to use something that is not completely transparent, but more like half sheer. So we will end up having some kind of a quartz or an opal look. Cure for one minute in LED, you can also pinch it after freeze curing for 10 seconds. And then I'm taking off the sticky layer from all nails and I'm going to file and shape them. But since we applied some extra product it was needed due to this effect, I'm going to use this drum-shaped ceramic bit with blue abrasive mark. The speed is about 20,000 rotations per minute. It's way lower than I usually do when removing the product, because my intention now is not to remove it, just to slightly shape it from the top. Shaping the sidewalls with a regular hand file. By the way, I think we ended up doing a square oval shape, not just traditional square. As I was filing and shaping them, honestly, I got a little worried that I'm going to file off all the glitter, but then it was time for the most satisfying part of the entire service, which is sealing with a top coat, and now you can see that all the glitter is still there. Cure in LED for 30 seconds, and we're done. This is the moment when you realize that the camera is not really showing all the beauty of this inlay design, so I'm going to do some macro shots so you can see this, guys. It looks something like we have a glass of milk, and then we put some flakies in it and mix them. So some flakies are right there on the bottom, some are on the top, and this is what it looks like. Let me know what do you think, guys. The link to the 2-in-1 lamp and the e-file by Melody Susie will be in the description box. Thank you so much for watching. If this is your first time here on my channel, consider subscribing, as I post new product reviews and tutorials just like this one every week. See you in my next one. Goodbye!